What's going on everybody? We're back with another video today. We're going to be going through an athletic upper body and core day today. My name is Ali and I'm putting the athlete in the athlete's journey. Now if this is your first time here today, I just want to take a quick moment and say that if you like what you see in the video, you have any questions and you know if you want to see more, don't hesitate to leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up and most importantly, subscribe for more. Thank you in advance. Let's get it. All right team, let's get to it. So um, I mean, if you guys haven't noticed by now, um, the warm-ups are not too complicated. Uh, I might go a little bit more extensive into the detail of the warm-ups, but I mean, the reason why I just simplify for you guys, speed it up a little bit, is because I like to just keep it simple for you all. Um, it's really just dynamically stretching and activating the joints and the muscles that you're going to need for this session. Um, so if you're doing a leg workout, you know, activate and dynamically stretch your legs and your hips and your lower back, you know, just get stuff ready. So as you see, um, I was activating my hips and now I'm doing some rotator cuff um, warm up. And, you know, the reason why I also do this, I do this most sessions, not just upper body sessions. I have rotator cuff problems. I played a lot of volleyball in high school. So, and, <laughs> you know, when you're young, you don't stretch, you don't do anything. You can, you feel invincible. So. I'm paying for it now, it pops out of place every now and again, but that's okay. Um, moving on, we're going to start with some overhead press. Now, the reason why I was warming up my hits, hips is because um, this does include some hip movement and some leg movement. It is still a full body movement, which is why I love Olympic lifting so much, because number one, I'm still in a position where I'm learning it which means it makes for a great warm up and I do it in a hoodie and everything because it allows me to get warm and lube up the body like I said. So I started off with some overhead press, four sets, four sets of triples, so three reps. Um, <laughs> shout out to my boy in the blue hoodie, that's a day one right there. Um, we were watching the NBA game on the TV, they got a nice, nice, uh, nice set of TVs in the gym. So. Um, yeah, man. Get, let me know in the comments, by the way. What team do you guys support? What do you guys What do you guys feel about the NBA? How do you feel about the bubble? Um, all I know is LeBron getting his fourth chip. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, so I just progressed, man. I got a little bit heavier. I'm not in a position where I'm going too heavy. Like I said, this Olympic lift I'm a little bit more comfortable with because it is a lot easier. Like I said in the previous video, which I'll link above. Um, Make sure you minimize using your triceps and, and uh, your arms because Olympic lifting is all about catching the weight off of momentum. So if you notice, I come down a little bit and I jerk the weight up and I catch it at the top. So it's all about trying to minimize the arms, um, which is also why this makes for a great warm up because your full body is working. And by the time you get you know to the heavy weights, your body's relatively ready and it's you're kind of breaking a little bit of a sweat. Um, so I moved, on, I moved on from that, I went to the incline dumbbell press and I superseted that with kettlebell rows. Um, I, I like to go a lot, I, li I like to go really heavy for these ones because these are sort of the strength and power portions of the workout. Uh, I am on a little bit of a deload so I didn't progress and I went with kettlebells. Um, this wasn't too challenging because usually I go really heavy on dumbbell rows, I got a really strong, I got a really strong back. Um, so anyways, that, that, that's essentially what I did is, I, is I, I like to go very slow on the negatives no matter what movement I do and I always explode up because that sort of hits two birds with one stone. You're doing six reps, you're in the six rep range, so you're able to maintain those fast twitch fibers in between your sets. You're not going to get too exhausted because you're not doing hypertrophy reps. But the negative is not only going to burn your muscle out, it's going to build that strength and exploding when you get to the bottom creates that power. So you're essentially do, you're working on your explosiveness and your strength at the same time, and you're getting a little bit of hypertrophy in because of the negative. The negative is just a beautiful thing. Like, please make sure you guys do negatives. I do them literally every single workout I do. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, um, unless it's core. <laughs> if you guys can see right now, I'm not essentially doing negatives right now, but normally I would be. Um, I don't know why I was like, I was just exhausted at this point. Um, I know the volume is a little bit low, but I am on a little bit of a deload week this week. I've been working out every day for the last like two or so months, so my body needs a little bit of a rest. So I calmed down a little bit on the volume and I moved on from the strength and power portion of the upper body to a core circuit. Um, so I did a tricep, I did uh, leg raises with sort of in a mid pull up. Um, and the reason why I do that is because it engages your lower back as well. 
and I superset it with a med, med ball twist on the floor and I also slammed the ball on the ground as you guys could see in the previous clip um, to create a little bit of instability not too much but just a little bit and I superset that with uh, reverse hypers um, yeah yeah one time for buckets man you see me on the court that's what you'll get that's why I love this shirt so much is it's a uh, it's it's a very it's a very real representation. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Come see me on the court, though. Um, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, I did a couple of sets of that. As you notice, I am slamming the ball down. Um, I did find that that was just a tiny bit more challenging. And yeah, as I said, I went with reverse hypers. I have a I have a um, I've grown up with really with really bad posture and, and what's known as a Donald Duck posture, which is that dip in your lower back, which I'm really trying to actively fix. Um, shout out to my boy for getting in the clip. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, and anyways, so that's essentially why I'm working on my lower back. Um, I really want to strengthen my core and strengthen my lower back to just get rid of that bad posture. Um, and I ended the workout with, yeah, just sort of one of these little quirky movements that I do, just like I did in the previous video. Um, Keep in mind, this is not a speed workout. You're not trying to get through this as fast as possible. I went 12 reps with my right arm, 12 reps with my left arm, and then 12 reps alternating. And I was pretty burnt out by the end of it. So uh, don't forget to do yourself a favor and uh, flex, man. <laughs> be proud of yourself. All right, everybody, that does it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be trying to upload two times a week from now on, just to sort of get pump more out. I'm just, I'm really enjoying making videos right now. So be on the lookout for more videos. Once again, don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.